let me ask you this. You worked with Wenyon and he's now in the NBA. Is he the only NBA player you've coached at Wilbraham? Um, yeah, he's the only NBA player that I've coached. Um, we did have um, a guy that uh, um, did get some time in the G League and overseas um, a few years back. And good luck, Okanobo. But Wenyon is the first uh, real full time um, NBA player that we've had. So you probably have the same I have where kids reach out to you saying, hey, I want to come to prep school and play, then get a scholarship for D1, then go to the NBA, right? Yeah. And I've been asking this of all the coaches that uh, have coached NBA players. Um, tell me about Winian. What made him an NBA player? What characteristics did he possess? Um, you know, it goes, probably goes without saying because every, everybody probably has the, you know, a high-level special work ethic. Right. That's um, what it is across the board, Mike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the work ethic. Um, he dedicated himself to the weight room um, by the time he got into his senior year here, uh, which was good because he, he didn't have a lot of experience in the weight room before getting here. Um, started to get kind of, you know, uh, his uh, indoctrination into the weight room um, junior year. And then senior year, he was really all in on the weight room. That was big. I'll say this kind of like a uh, bit of an intangible, I guess, with Wenyon was always seeking, like, and very open to coaching, um, even if it came in the form of criticism, right? Where, like, you know, it's, it's not necessarily criticizing the person. It's, you know, just like, what, what am I not doing well? Tell me right now what I'm not doing well because it can be evident what they are doing well. Um, but he was always open to that. So he would, you know, he would say to me like, coach, don't be afraid to be like a little critical here. You know, um, even in game film, uh, we would sit down sometimes and watch, you know, and, and he would always remind me, you know, because he, in a short time, he became, you know, the best player. He was here as a junior and he was, probably the best player, even when he was a junior, maybe not statistically all the time, but he had, you know, a lot of talent, but then senior year became a leader and was clearly the most talented guy. And so as a coach, you know, you're, you're making sure that you're watching everybody, but he'll say, you know, coach, make sure you focus in on me too, because I want to know what I'm not doing, you know, for, for me to get better and for me to keep leading the team the right way. So, um, and Kyle is very open to coaching too. Mm -hmm. So there's that, there's that similarity there where, um, you know, he came out of the game a couple times this weekend and, you know, go down, get your drink of water, come sit here, you know, in between our, you know, assistant coaches and let's, let's talk about something for 30 seconds to kind of, you know, talk about what's going on out there. And he will never shy away from listening. He'll ask a question. And, you know, when he, when, when we're on the same page, He's a guy, Kyle's a guy, he'll look you in the eye and say, I got you, you know, and that's like, that's all you can ask as a coach. So it's, it's the work ethic, you know, the innate things that come with, you know, the talent that they have, but the work ethic and then um, being open to being coached. Yeah.